Dear students, as you are all aware that all living organisms are made up of individual units called cells. Cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. If all the living organisms are made up of cells, does that mean that our body is also made up of cells? Yes, our body is also made up of uncountable number of cells. Can we see these cells with naked eye? No, we cannot see the cell and its structure with naked eye. Why? Why are we not able to see the cell structure with naked eye? Because the cells are very small and we need to magnify the cell to observe its structure. How are we able to magnify and observe the cell structure? For this, we use a compound microscope. Would you like to know how a compound microscope works? All of you must have used a magnifying glass one time or the other. When you try and see something from the magnifying glass, it appears bigger in size. The same thing happens when we try to see the cell under a compound microscope. So today we are going to learn the process for making the temporary mount of cheek epithelium and observe the cell structure of cheek epithelium. So let us see what all do we need for making this temporary mount. We need a slide. The slide should be clean and make sure that you hold it only by its edges so that it does not get dirty. A dropper, filter paper, toothpick, a forcep, dissecting needle, water in a beaker, stain to color the cheek epithelial cells. Here we use the stain methylene blue because methylene blue can easily stain the outer covering or the cell membrane of the cheek epithelial cells. And cover slip. So let us see how are we going to make the temporary mount of cheek epithelial cell. First, take a slide and in the center of the slide put a drop of water. Now take the stain you need to add a drop of the stain in the center of the slide where we had put the drop of water. Make sure that you use separate droppers for taking water and stain and once you have used the stain you cover the bottle. Now take a clean toothpick which hasn't been used at all. You have to use the blunt end of the toothpick to scrap the inner lining of your cheek. Scrap the inner lining of the cheek. Scrap the inner lining of the cheek very gently and now transfer this material onto the slide where you have taken the stain. Spread the material throughout. Please throw the used toothpick in the dustbin. It cannot be used again. Now, with the help of a forcep and needle, gently place a cover slip onto the material that has been mounted on the slide. Place it very slowly 
so that there are no air bubbles in the slide. The slide but cheek epithelium cells is ready. Now, we will be observing it under the compound microscope. For observing the slide, take the microscope and place the slide on the stage. Fix the slide and observe it under the low power. When we study the slide of cheek epithelial cells, what do we observe? We observe the cheek epithelial cells which are irregular in shape and are stained blue in color. These cells are widespread. They also show a centrally located nucleus. How are these cheek epithelial cells which are animal cells? different from plant cells? In plant cells, the cells have a fixed shape and they are very closely and compactly placed. In plants, the cells have a definite shape and they are very compactly packed. Also, the nucleus in plant cells is not centrally located but is located towards one side. So, students, today we have learned how to make a temporary mount of cheek epithelium and observe the cheek epithelial cells which show the animal cell structure. Animal cells are differently shaped depending upon their location and function. But they are different from plant cells that they have a cell membrane but do not have an outer tough covering or the cell wall. They have a centrally located nucleus, not a nucleus which is located towards one side and they have intercellular space between them very prominently present. I hope you have learned how to make a temporary mount and you will be able to make it and study for the cheek epithelial cells. Thank you.